Welcome everybody, it is Crypto Moose, and it's time to get loose. Mitchell Bouchard, your crypto and NFT investor. Let's dive right into it. So we've got a couple of videos back to back. We're going to show you step by step how to pick up those sexy Kopi tokens. Um, so we're going to start out with the Cardano way, the Cardano blockchain route. So we're going to be using a decentralized exchange. I'm going to also show you how to use a DEX aggregator that will be with DEX Hunter. And I think you're going to enjoy this one. Uh, so before we get started, I want you to like, comment, and subscribe. Uh, the comments have been great. Uh, you know, ask away. Ask whatever questions you may have. Um, you know, for some of you, you don't know some of the fundamentals. It's okay. I'll probably get in there, answer as best as I can. Um, comment down below also, what are you picking up? What are your beliefs? That's what this channel is all about. So it's an entire community. And I'll show you something at the end to bring us even closer in that regard. Okay, so let's dive right into it. And today we are Tuesday, November 28th, 2023. Um, and uh, we're going to be doing another video uh, over the next couple days showing you how to pick up Kopi on other chains. So Cornucopias, what is it? Let's dive into that briefly. So Cornucopias, this is their website. They are a AAA level game, um, MMORPG. They've got the racing game coming out. And at the end of the day, this is fitting the crypto narrative. And I just did a video showing how this project is up 140%. Uh, personally, I've been waiting months for this to happen. It is still severely undervalued in my opinion. So if we take a look here on CoinMarketCap, this is Kopi, the token we're gonna to show you how you can pick up. And by the way, I'm not telling you to pick this up. Invest at your own risk. This is simply what I'm doing. So we're at a 38 million market cap compared to other top level crypto gaming projects. Um, and by the way, this fits the narrative, right? They have NFTs that represent in-game assets that you can own, right? That's the idea of a specific a uh, unique asset ID number that you own in your wallet. Um, and yeah, there, there's so much going on with Kopi that I do like. So we're still up over 140% on the week. And this thing is going to move, in my opinion, over the next couple months leading into the bull run. Okay, so enough of that. Let's show you step-by-step -step how you can pick up these tokens. Uh, we're not gonna set up a wallet per se, but I'll show you if you haven't done so, how you can do that, where you can pick up some Kopi. So the first thing is uh, you want to own some ADA. So whether you're using the crypto.com app, that's what I recommend to a lot of people, sign up for the crypto.com app or sign up on Coinbase or even Binance, whatever it may be, pick up some Cardano. You're probably gonna have to pick up USDC or Ethereum or um, maybe Bitcoin. Then you can trade that for this asset Kopi. So first things first, you have to buy some ADA. Um, so set up an online exchange, do that at your own risk. Um, what you can do as well is go to the channel and put how to buy um, ADA. So I have videos, how to buy ADA NFTs, how to buy ADA NFTs, watch me buy ADA Cardano. But specifically, what's the one I wanted? Um, how to buy crypto. I think I did one on this specifically. There you go, best ways to buy crypto in 2023. Um, I also have a full breakdown. This is probably the best video right here. How to buy crypto using the crypto.com app. It has 21 views, should definitely have more than that. Uh, but this is a good one. How to buy crypto on crypto.com. I show you step by step, okay? So once you get ADA, now you can move on to step two. That is setting up a NAMI wallet. I recommend this for a few reasons. Um, so what you're going to do is go to namiwallet.io and you're going to add this as a Chrome extension tool um, on your browser. So if you're using Brave, Edge, you can do that as well. So for us, if we click on Chrome, I already have it set up, but in the top right, what you're going to do is add that to your Chrome extension tool. Once you have that, you can load up a little bit of ADA. So ADA is very cheap compared to Ethereum and some other chains. Um, Solana is even cheaper, which I like. Um, once you do that, I talk about this in other videos, you're going to add collateral. So go to the top right, 
click on collateral, make sure that you have some collateral. This is going to make sure that you have enough ADA in order to pay for those transaction costs um, if anything happens where you begin to lose too much ADA. Remember, when you have ADA, it's like your Ethereum gas fees. It pays uh, for your transaction costs. So you spend ADA in order to buy NFTs to swap tokens using decentralized exchanges. Okay, so that's called Lovelace for ADA. So make sure you set that up. I recommend, I mean, it depends on how much you want to buy, but you should have always at least, you know, 20 or 30 ADA to cover those costs. So here I have some cornucopias and we'll show you how to pick some up. Okay, so buy some ADA, set up a NAMI, load up your NAMI. Now you're ready for the next step. Now we're going to go to minswap.org. So this is a DEX. Um, the way a DEX works is um, other individuals like ourselves, we connect our wallet, we uh, stake our ADA, or we yield farm, we provide liquidity, and we earn a little bit of um, rewards based on how many people swap tokens. Um, so instead of using a uh, centralized exchange, something like Binance or Coinbase, um, you know, you can do this completely in a decentralized fashion. So I'm gonna show you how to do this. So you're gonna to go to launch app and you're gonna connect your wallet. So ours is connected already. Let me show you how to do that. So you're gonna to go to connect wallet, select whatever one you want. Now, if you have something like a ledger, you can connect that. Um, I don't know if they have Trezor yet, so coming soon. But you could also uh, use Eternal. You can use a Jira wallet, a Yoroi. You can use a Lace wallet. There are, t there are tons of different options. Um, there's also, of course, the Min wallet. We're going to click on NAMI. And also through NAMI, uh, I use this all the time, you can also connect a hardware wallet. So under our other accounts here, we've got um, a Ledger. We've also got a couple Trezors. So this is going to be uh, my Trezor. So I got a lot more ADA there. This one I have quite a bit of copy on here, which I like. Should have got more. So anyways, that's how you do that. So we're just gonna go with the hot wallet route. So we're just gonna imagine that you don't have a hardware wallet. You've got like, what, $10 worth, if that, of ADA. So we're going to go to trade. So go to trade. And the first thing is you wanna set the slippage to, I think, something low. So what this does is, while you are making the swap for ADA to Kopi in this case, um, depending on how much the price of the asset fluctuates, your order may not go through. So if you do 1%, you're more, you're more likely to get that. If you do 5%, um, if it fluctuates in a direction or another, you'll be able to effectively have that swap go through. So I usually just do 0.1%. So if it doesn't go through, I'll just make another swap. So that's what I do. And we are going to show you with just a bit of ADA. So we'll do... 15 ADA, and we're going to pick up some Kopi. So I've already got some on here. So again, we'll do 15 ADA, and that will get us 122 Kopi. Um, so right here, we're probably gonna go back down in price. We, we've been fluctuating high, but this is a tutorial. So we're gonna hit swap, and then we're going to put in our password that we set up. So you're gonna set up a password when you do this, and we're gonna do confirm swap. You're gonna pay a fee, so don't forget that. So here I'm going to confirm my swap. So I'm gonna put in my password. I'm gonna hide that screen. So there we go, I put in my password, and boom, you're gonna see your order go through to the right, then you're gonna see orders under here. So if I take a look, I recently did a couple of different swaps, so if we go to our wallet, we will see this transaction go through. So give it a second, um, but we're gonna see the transaction right here um, under the JPEG uh, token to ADA. And it's really quick, very easy to use with Cardano. Um, I feel like Kopi's gonna get a lot more activity. So typically this would be even faster, but it's just the way it goes sometimes. So here we see our order, um, ADA Kopi, so it's queuing right now, and this is all in real time. 
So you can see our batcher fee. So again, if you are providing liquidity, if you are yield farming, you would be in a pool of others that earn um, based on other people using the DEX to swap for your assets, okay? So if we go to our wallet, we'll probably see that our ADA has left. So here we only have three ADA now, and this will finish pretty soon. Um, so this probably, in my opinion, the, you know, the, probably the, the go-to method that most people will use, uh, especially Cardano holders. So there we go, that just completed. So we just swapped 15 ADA for 122 Kopi. And I already had some Kopi in this wallet. So um, yeah, I'm not sure when that's gonna update per se, but if we go here, you can see our full transaction. So we swapped um, total fees, eight cents, not bad, man. Was it 0 0.20 ADA? It is pretty cheap, it is pretty cheap. So there we go. That is what we did right there. So that is how you do it. Um, if you want, you can also use um, Dex Hunter. So if we open this app, we're gonna close the other. Um, typically when you are trading assets, uh, you wanna close all of your other tabs that may have a wallet connected. It could add some confusion. So here on Dex Hunter, we're gonna go to swap. So that's in the top left. Uh, but first you wanna connect your wallet. So we're gonna go, I read the policy. We're gonna connect a NAMI, access, boom. So we're gonna to go to perhaps a different wallet that has a little more ADA. So you can set up multiple accounts. So I got 54 ADA in this one. Makes more sense to use that. So we're gonna to go to swap. And now we can do a max. What do we have total in this? 54 ADA. Showing 42, but okay. Let's say the max that we can spend is 42, but let's just do another 25 ADA, something like that. Okay, and we're gonna select Kopi. Okay, so this is gonna cost us what one cent. So, us using the aggregator, if we go under here, um, it looks like it's going to be pulling Kopi from uh, Wing Rider's decks. So it's searching different DEXs. Here you can see MinSwap. You can see, I don't know what this one is. Um, exclude Spectrum. This is what, Teddy Swap. Um, and it's looking at BiFi. It's looking at other DEXs and it's pulling the best uh, fees for us. So I'm definitely gonna be using Wing Riders then. So there we go. We're gonna hit Swap, put in our password. So here I'm just gonna put in the password. There we go, success. So view order, and it looks like our ADA just left there, and it's pending. So I already had some copy in there, so it says 240. Maybe that'll show a little bit different there in a minute. So for 25 ADA, we get, we're gonna get 201 uh, copy. And it's been 26 seconds, this is really cool. So I haven't been using Dex Hunter too much, but I like the idea of the aggregator. So again, it's aggregating other DEXs and it's pulling the best rates for us. Um, so really cool to see in real time as well. So we'll let that go, it's been 42 seconds. And I know for some of you, you may not wanna use MinSwap um, or you may not like NAMI, so use Lace. Um, you should be able to do the exact same thing. Um, just make sure when you do set up your wallet, you do want to make sure write down that recovery seed phrase because if you lose ac access to your wallet, you are in trouble. But I always recommend pick up a treasure, pick up a ledger. Um, while this goes through and finishes the pending, um, check out the link tree because you can save up to 25% off your treasure, your um, Ellie Pal, your Tangem. So if you are interested in those, because I'm going to mention at the end of the video anyways, this is a Tangem. This is my favorite on the go wallet because you can use it with the cell phone. The issue with the Tangem, if there is an issue, is that you cannot easily connect to DEXs. Like we can use the Trezor here. Um, we can also use the Ledger. So I have um, a Ledger 
And we can connect this to these DEXs and easily swap. With the Tangem, it's, it's more for your everyday carry in my opinion. Okay, so check out those links. You'll save up to 25% off. Um, so that's definitely going to be a help. So success. So if we go to our wallet, what do we have? 240 at one point. And yeah, now we have 445 Kopi. So we swapped 25 ADA, I believe it was, for 205 Kopi. So the moose is building up that bag. So really nice to see. So I hope this guy, guys, I hope this helps you out. Um, Later on in the week, we're gonna be showing you how to pick up Kopi using PancakeSwap. We're gonna be doing Uniswap. And if there are any others that come out, I'm definitely gonna be the one to cover it for you all. So I hope that makes sense. And again, go to my channel, okay? Go to Crypto Moose and type in how to buy crypto, um, how to buy Kopi. So there, there's other videos that are coming out all the time on the channel. So I just wanted to mention that. And of course, um, check out the link tree. So if you guys wanna learn and get sped up on EDA specifically, especially for a lot of you that are coming from other chains, on this channel, we're focused pretty heavily on EDA, uh, Cardano's blockchain, but I'm very open to other chains. I've been diving into Solana a lot more, uh, Matic, you know, as things progress, I dive into what I think makes the most sense. So definitely check that out. Check out the free ADA mini course. Um, if you wanna get started in 60 minutes, brings you right up to speed. Um, you'll feel very comfortable doing anything with ADA. We also have master classes. They're like 10 to 20 bucks. Um, they're built on Udemy, so check those out. Check out um, the Discord. Get in there, ask me questions. And we also have the Loose Moose NFT dropping. Um, December 21st, 5 p.m. UTC. Um, we're dropping the Loose Moose NFT. So I hope it shows up on the calendar soon. So there's 499 Loose Moose. There's gonna be five golden ones. Um, I built this myself, um, designed it using some AI and stuff. Um, so this is gonna give you more utility down the road uh, for this channel. So when I do giveaways, when companies send me their hardware wallets, I'm gonna be giving them away to the holders. So with that being said, the, loose, the Moose is loose. And definitely comment down below, did this video help you pick up some Kopi? Um, comment down below, why haven't you picked up Kopi? And how many Kopi tokens do you have? Um, for me, I have, let me share with you what I got. I think I have just under 100,000 now. So I'm at 94,851, but I have some other wallets. So I'm about 105,000 um, Kopi. So I'm starting to build it up. So anyways, the moose loose. Cheers, everyone.